Josh, how are you going? Good, mate. How are you? Fantastic. Um, I will say this. I'm loving the beard. Keep the beard. Never get rid of the beard. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was all, this was all a hair transplant, um, strand by strand. Yeah, so I'm glad you like it. How's the day going? Are you uh, sick of talking yet or are you having a good time? No, it's fine. It's, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's all going to be over tomorrow. So, you know, make the most of it. Make the most of it. Now, I, I love the film. I thought it was going to go one way and I expected a bit of a different story and then it went that way and I was like, yep, yeah, this is great. I want to see a sequel. I want right. to see everything. So, yeah, loved it. You were great. Everyone was great. So that, I'll get that off off top of my chest to start off with. Great. Now, how did the role of Kano come to you? I'm intrigued because some of the characters yeah. you've played before are very different to this one. Very. Either. So how did it come your way? Yeah, look, it, nothing too crazy, to be totally honest. I was in Los Angeles and the, they were casting. Uh, I think they were casting all over the world, to be honest. They were certainly casting between America and Australia, looking for Australians. Yep. So that narrowed the field a little bit. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, I just did an audition and, you know, it was one time with the casting agent in a little room in Los Angeles and then I forgot all about it until like three or four months later and I got the phone call saying, it's yours. So it it, uh, it was a bit of a shock. I'm not, I, I, don't, I mean, I certainly wasn't expecting it to be in the film, but I'm, I'm obviously really, really glad I got a chance to to do something different. You know, it's, yeah. as you say, it's not the sort of thing I normally do, but that's great. I, I you know, love doing different stuff. I hope I get oh, to for the rest yeah. of my career. I love actors when they do different things, like they throw curveballs, yeah. like when you saw Stephen Curry in um, Hands of Love, right. like different. And different's good, and plus it gives you guys a, a lot more to play with and something else Completely. to do. And yeah, yeah. Um, now the role of Kano looked like a shitload of fun. You got to be a dick. Yeah. Um, basically, you got to be very Australian. Um, <laughs> yeah. How was it playing, being able to play a role like that? Yeah, it was great. I mean, you you know, as you say, he he is having fun. I did have fun doing that, and I you know I think that is kind of infectious you, yeah. you know when you watch it hopefully that comes through uh, oh, it does. You know, it does. the screen <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah and it should be you know like if i was a, i will say in in my uh in my old age the wisdom if i've if i've uh gotten any over the years really to try and have as, as much fun doing these jobs as possible yeah because you don't know if they're going to be successes or failures but if you can at least make the the filming of it as fun as possible well then it's win-win really yeah uh so i was really yeah i i was obviously taking it seriously as i do every job but you know i got simon let me improv and and i i got to as you say crank you know the aussiness up to 11 and and yeah i don't know I, what, what wasn't to love i was on these big hollywood sets and <laughs> It was a dream come true. It's everything I'd always wanted to do when I dreamed of being an actor as a kid, you know. Big Hollywood sets in Adelaide, of all places, which is even better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, the fight scenes are awesome. Um, obviously, they're super complicated. How much training did you have to go through to basically get it all down? Well, yeah, look, uh, quite a bit. Uh, well, as much as I could do, given the short amount of time, I, I didn't have much of a lead up you know, yeah. from getting the job to doing, to filming. By the sounds of it, I had one of the quickest turnarounds from getting that phone call to, and, okay. and I was doing another job at the time. And so I really didn't, I was pretty time poor. And so I was um, cramming at the gym and doing some fight work whenever I could, any spare minute. Yeah. And then well, you, look, you looked bloody good. So it didn't, it looks like you had months and months of training. So magic of the movies drop smoke bomb and disappears <laughs> uh, and he was never seen again <laughs> yeah no but it, i mean that's that is magic of the movies in a way because it's not that i was uh, you know i was completely useless i i had some fundamentals of boxing and uh and so i was okay in that regard but anytime there was something beyond my grasp they an excellent stunt artist came in and um and made me look yeah. uh, better than i could possibly make myself look yeah now, we're getting the wrap-up in a sec, but I just want to ask, what's it like to now be in the Mortal Kombat legacy? I mean, worst-case scenario, I guess I'll do <laughs> Comic-Con conventions until the day I die. And I'm fine with that, by the way. Uh, yeah, I mean, providing that we're allowed to, you know, get the world back together again. Uh, it's awesome. You know, the, the hope is that this is the first of many, right? Yeah. That, that you know, this is a franchisable uh title and, and we want there to be more life in this and 
you know, hopefully no one ever really dies and uh, and there's more there's more life in Kano yet, you know? I can't wait to see more and I hope there's sequels and good luck with the film and I hope it goes gangbusters. Thanks, mate. Me too. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, team.